number 15. I am getting a little bit lazy, so I'm picking subjects that are relatively easier to do. So let's go! And why is this subject easy? Well, the way I think about this is the recipe is very simple. First the line, then uh, the negative shape surrounding the teapot set, and then the shadow. And that's pretty much it. I'm even thinking, hmm, that's just two layers, basically. Alright, so let's start with the drawing, shall we? And for drawing, you know, I always focus on the broad shape. I actually make um, a lot of mistakes with this one. Uh, but it doesn't matter. I mean, it is just a sketch. I think perfection is the, the enemy of good. And most of us, when we started, we really want our sketch to be perfect. And it hinders us from our progress because we always want that, want that perfect sketch before we colour. Well, you won't get a perfect sketch. You just want to have a really de reason, reasonable and decent sketch and jump right in. So this is what I did. Basically, put a negative shape around the white teapot that's the first step negative shape is a lot of fun to paint because um, you already have the teapot uh, shape drawn all you need to do is just paint outside the box if you like not inside the box but outside the box so i mix myself a fierce reddish brown more red than brown uh, and uh, i go at it with gusto um, yeah and it's kind of fun to just lay that down. Uh, again, it's still very much in uh, accordance to <laughs> the celebration of 56th birthday of Singapore. Anyway, next one is I looked at the tea and it's somewhat in the same sort of uh, color, but I redden it a little bit more and uh, I taken the pigment towards the bottom part of the tea. So here, if you observe, the shadow is one piece. Uh, the shadow that run right through to the teapot as well as the shadow um, at the lo lower half again it's uh, on the table as well as on the saucer as, uh, itself beginners always think of shadow as you know outside of the object i always encourage uh, people to think about shadow as one piece uh, the whole piece of shadow has to operate as one so that the eyes can see uh, where the shade um, against the light uh, and that's how our eyes operate. You should not have to think about shadow as a separate piece but it is something that runs right through it. It could be on a table, it could be on the teapot, they are one piece, they are not two pieces, they are one piece. Right after that, the next part is to start uh, softening some of the edges of the shadow. It's very important to soften shadow because shadows are never always hard edges. There are some parts of shadow, especially when it falls on porcelain, it could be very sharp, but oftentimes it is not, especially when uh, there is a curved uh, you know, space like the teapot or for example, there's a curved space on the teacup as well. So anything curved, will probably have a softer edge on the shadow. Anything that is flat or um, uh, might have a very straight and sharp edges of uh, shadow. That allows you to define space and basically the shadow edges allows you to define how three-dimensional form or shape uh, is uh, in, in real space. And uh, those are opportunities you should not miss. You should take those opportunities and make best use of it to indicate how the space or form is um, and yeah so that's what it is and I actually that's it that's the reason why I say this sketch is simple because it's white which is paper in other words you don't do anything with it and then that's the table and then there's uh, the shadows which I use purple for I didn't even bother to neutralize it and that's it that's all you need to do so stay safe everybody wherever you are I, I hope you enjoyed this video as well bye